Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 22, and today verses 19 to 23. So let's read it. The betrayer is here. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of my betrayer is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goes as it has been determined, but woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to question among themselves which of them it was who would do this thing. A very interesting sequence here. Jesus says, the hand of my betrayer is with me. Here we all are. We've been close together these during this period of ministry. But one of you, in one of the parallel Gospels accounts, he says, one of you is a devil. And of course, he's speaking of Judas Iscariot. Jesus is going to give himself for all of them, and including Judas, the betrayer. But again, didn't all we're going to see coming ahead when, they were, when Jesus was hanging on the cross? And what, what happened? All the disciples turned and fled. So even on their best day, everybody, everybody basically abandoned Jesus, all of, his, all of his male disciples. And yet Jesus gave himself for them. You and I have served Jesus, and perhaps at different times we've sort of abandoned him and come back and abandoned him and come back. And we've been kind of this wishy-washy, half, half in, half out kind of approach at different times because our, our weak, the weaknesses of our humanity, not to make excuses, but... I'm just telling you that's the way experience that a lot of us have had at different times. In spite of that, in spite of that, Jesus died on the cross for you and me. He knew, he knew this would come, and he still was all the way in. He, would, he died on the cross for us completely. He didn't back out. And so even the hand of his betrayer is with him at the table, and yet, and yet he's going to make a final appeal to the heart of that betrayer. And so the Lord loves us all, even the most wayward, and I can't think of a better kind of God to serve than that kind of a God. His mercies endure forever. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus' spirit of mercy. Thank you for his desire to bring everybody along. Thank you for his big desire even to turn Judas uh, toward the kingdom. So Lord, now we've all been up and down in our experience, but help us to be up. Uh, help us to return to you more and more and be fully, fully in your line. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the hand of Jesus', Jesus betrayer was with him at the table. Not just the hand of Judas, but let's be fair. All the disciples at different times surely weren't all they could have been spiritually. And yet Jesus gave himself for them. Think about that today.